I recently purchased a Buddy Mansfield joint former slash lipping tool and decided to do my first tool review. The length is roughly 10 and a half inches and it weighs 411 grams. The two graphite paddles clamp down at an angle to give the perfect outside taper. In the center is the joint former. It is exchangeable with just one wing nut. This model can either form a 10 millimeter or 14 millimeter female joint. Today we're going to create a 10 millimeter female joint. Starting with a square edge, we form the joint. Then we form the top lip. I like to push a small hollow maria in the bottom to move resin away from the joint, helping to prevent a bowl or banger from getting stuck. The tube required to flare open the joint can vary. This will depend on the tube diameter and wall thickness. Many combinations will provide a perfect 10 millimeter or 14 millimeter joint, but the wall thickness of the joint will vary. This will take some trial and error. If you use the tube with a thick wall thickness, you will get a thick joint and it will be a strong connection. After a bit of trial and error, for a 10 millimeter joint, I like to use a 12 millimeter tube with a 2.2 wall thickness, and for a 14 millimeter joint, I like to use a 16 millimeter tube with a 2.5 wall thickness. First, we need to start with a square edge. If I'm only taking a small bit off, I like to use an old scientific method called wrapping. This can be done by taking a scoring tool or a metal file and scratching a small line, making sure to make the line straight along the tube. Place the tool over a metal edge. I like to use the edge of my water bucket. Place the score mark facing up, and with the back of the scoring tool, strike the short side close to the score mark. This does take a bit of practice. Forming the joint takes patience and practice. Start by heating the tip of the tube then flare it slightly. Only heating small sections at a time and each one a little bit further down the tube. Making sure not to flare open too much. Now I flare the tip to allow it to move further up the forming tool. Clamping down to smooth the outside walls. Now we have a perfect fitting 10 millimeter joint. We can stop there, but I prefer to add a lip. We need to flare the joint open a bit to allow it to move a little further up the forming tool. Now heat the tip and push it up the forming tool to start the lip. Flaring the joint one final time. Clamping down on the panels to give the lip a perfect shape. One final heat on the tip. Now we test the fitting. I like to push a small hollow maria in the bottom. The maria will help to move resin away from the joint, helping to prevent a bowl or banger from getting stuck. That's how you make a 10 millimeter female joint with the Buddy Mansfield joint forming slash lipping tool. Thanks for watching.